Hey, John from Superbase here, and today we're launching our brand new open source Edge runtime called Superbase Edge Runtime. So this is a wrapper around Dino, so you can run your Superbase Edge functions locally or self-host them anywhere you want. This is yet another step towards our open source philosophy at Superbase and shows just how portable each piece of the stack is. In this video, we're gonna look at hosting a simple Hello World Edge function, as well as a more complex Oak server on fly.io. Let's get into it. Here I have a basic project with a few functions I want to host on fly.io. We can use Docker for this, so let's have a look at our Docker file. Our image is using the latest version of the Superbase Edge runtime. Then we're copying all of our functions, so hello world, main, and oak. And then when we receive a request, we're gonna run the command to start our main function. And so let's have a look at that one. Now this does look a little bit intimidating, but really we're just pulling apart this URL. So we're splitting it into the different parts and working out which specific function we want to run. And we can also configure things here, like how much memory we want to allocate to each of our functions and how long we want them to be able to run, etc. And this is spinning up a new worker to run each of our functions. And so let's start with the simpler one, our hello world function. This is just pulling the name out of our requests body. So therefore this needs to be something other than get and it's responding with this super welcoming message. Easy. So what about the complex one? It's not really that complex. Oak is just a framework that allows you to more easily do complex things like declare a collection of routes. So like one for get and one for post that will run anytime we request a particular path. So in this case, slash Oak, and this one slash oak slash greet. But we can keep all of these different routes nicely organized within our router. So this should look familiar if you've ever worked with Express or Koa or Fastify. Lots of libraries follow this kind of API. Oak is just the native Dino one. So let's get these functions hosted on fly. The fly.toml file is a pretty standard configuration. One thing to call out is we are declaring this HTTP checks service. And this just tells Fly whether the service is up and running. So basically just a health check. So let's use the Fly CLI to launch a new app. It's detected that we have a configuration file. So let's say, yes, we want to use it. We can leave the name for this one as Edge Runtime Demo. I've already launched this one previously, so it's asking if I'd like to launch that, but this would launch a new app if I were running it for the first time. I'm going to choose Sydney as my region, as this is closest to me, and I don't need Postgres or Redis, and I would like to deploy now. And once that's finished, we can use Postman to send a post request to the URL for our Fly app slash Hello World, and passing across a body with the name I'm Fly. This will run the Hello World Edge function, which responds with the message, Hello, I'm Fly from Superbase Edge functions. So everything is hosted correctly on Fly. And now we can check that our Oak server is working correctly by sending a get request to slash Oak and we get back our response for that path. So we have the power of a full Oak server running in a Superbase Edge function hosted on fly.io. Wow, this really opens up what you can do with Superbase Edge functions, and we'd love to hear what you're keen to build with them. So please let us know in the comments. We're also running a hackathon and a whole bunch of live events throughout launch week, so make sure you're following us on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel with that little notification bell lit up. But until next time, keep building cool stuff. <laughs>